The Springfield Contractors Association is excited to recognize Design Team of the Year. The award was created to allow contractors to show appreciation and recognize local designers. The teams are judged on creativity, uniqueness, and complexity of design, as well as how the team worked together, community involvement, and traffic, infrastructure, and environmental impacts. The SCA is proud to announce Tiger Paw Early Childhood Center as the 2022 Design Team of the Year. This project is an excellent example of the teamwork between a design team, owner, and contractor on a large-scale renovation project. Congratulations to Esterly Snyder & Associates, J.S. Smith Consulting Engineering, Anderson Engineering, Smith Goth Engineers, Andrea Nesbitt Designs, Ozark Public Schools, and DeWitt & Associates for your outstanding teamwork. One of the goals we had as a district was to make the interior a 21st century learning center, but to keep the exterior uh, very similar to what it looked like in 1922. Uh, Melissa and her team were able to, to pull up old drawings, uh, old pictures, and just the work they put into making sure we had the right tuck pointing in, and even to find the, the correct windows to match. Uh, we had a great celebration this past week when we recreated the original photo that was taken in 1922 outside of the facility and uh, it, they nearly match each other. They did a great job in preserving the historical uh, appearance on the outside, but bringing in a 21st century learning on the inside. This was a project that had to start at the top and worked at the bottom. Timing was basically everything. We had to demo from the top to the bottom and the bottom was the worst area. When I first got here, I really thought the best thing to happen to this building would be demolished. But this building is gonna last another 100 years now, and I'm super proud of that. When I first got to this building, I thought, Esterly Snyder wants us to do what with this? Was my first impression. When I first got here, I wouldn't even go in the basement, and kudos to Melissa going down there and uh, doing what she did on her exploratory work prior to putting a design together. Um, they, they did a fabulous job. Preserving this historic building is symbolic of preserving Ozark's history and heritage. Ozark has always put education as a priority. Dr. Bauman, along with Dr. Chesick and Dr. Carson, presented a plan to renovate this historic landmark to meet the need of early childhood education. Tiger Paw really is going to allow us to give the support students need to be caught up for kindergarten. When a student starts kindergarten unprepared, then they can be uh, a struggler for a couple of years. And so having this building, this space to uh, really help our kids be caught up and to be ready for success in kindergarten is huge. And the design team listened to what we needed and they gave us those spaces we need to really help kids be successful at the kindergarten level. And we're very excited about it. This expansion project allows us to service our community by providing additional spots for early childhood education and by utilizing the resources the district have by revitalizing our 100-year-old building. We feel very fortunate to honor the history of Ozark while still servicing our community for the new generation. Back in 1921, the Ozark community supported education by passing a bond as well as a tax increase during the Depression. So as we move forward 100 years, we have the opportunity to take not only a building that has been in our system for that time, but also to expand learning to our youngest learners. It's so vitally important. So as superintendent of Ozark Schools, I could not have been more proud to be a part of this project and see the great part that this is gonna to contribute to the future of Ozark through our children and our community and education.